All right, for today's lesson, we're going to talk about this sheet that says one and two step inequalities. So, if you haven't had any experience with inequalities before, um, inequalities are something that is not an equal sign. Uh, the prefix in means not. So, we're looking at things that are not equal. And we're going to deal with, they're basically like one and two step equations. It, there's just a few little tricks we got to remember when we solve these. And then we're going to also graph our answers as well. Okay, so if I look at number one, I'm going to rewrite the problem down here to give myself some room to work. Uh, B minus 19 is less than or equal to negative 19. Okay, remember, we do need to uh, understand what these symbols are. So this is a less than or equal to and the less than symbol you know if you don't remember what that is uh, you can make that with your left hand so the left hand makes that little like l but when you place the little half equal sign underneath it it means it can be less than or it can be equal to okay so then if i want to get b isolated in here i would just treat it like a normal equation i would add 19 to both sides add 19 to both sides this cancels, B drops down, the symbol drops down, less than or equal to, and negative 19 plus 19 is zero. Okay, so when I plot this point, I'm going to go where it says at zero. Okay, if it is a less than or equal to, then that is what we call a closed point, or it's shaded. And when I shade it, that means B could be zero. If I plug zero in here, it will make this statement true because that'd be negative 19 is less or equal to negative 19. That's true because it is equal to negative 19. Now, what other numbers make this statement true? Um, well, it's got to be less than. So B is less than or equal to zero, which means it could be negative one, it could be negative two, it could be negative a half, uh, but it can't be one, two, three, four, five. And because all of these numbers are going to work to the left, I'm going to shade everything to the left of that point. Like I put a big, thick shade on that line, and I'm going to put an arrow on the end to show that that will continue on forever. You know, negative 100, negative a million, negative a trillion. Uh, anything to the left of zero is going to make the statement true. Okay, number two. If we look at number two, we see... Um, our variables on the right side and when we solve equations that doesn't really matter however when we solve inequalities it can mess with how we think about the lines should be shaded so the first thing i do is i reorder it all right i want my variable on the other side so i'm going I'm to basically just take the whole thing and flip it around so i'm going to say p plus 15 on the left side i gonna put six over here now because i flipped the whole thing this symbol has to flip as well. You know, right now it's opening up towards the 15 and the P. If you think of back in the day, Pac-Man or an alligator, however you thought it, he was eating those. So when I flip it around, it still needs to be that way. Okay, now I solve. So I'm going to get P by itself. I'm going to subtract 15 to both sides. That cancels. And we get P is greater than or equal to negative 9. All right, so this is a greater than or equal. Oops, we got the less than there. Okay, so greater than or equal to. And again, that's going to be a closed point because of that little half equal sign underneath it. So I want to find where negative 9 is. Put my point. Check it out. Like, oh, it's closed, so I need to shade it. And P has to be greater than or equal to negative 9. So every number that's bigger than negative 9. So that means it's going to be shaded to the right. Okay, it's going to shade to the right and put an arrow on the end. Now, I'm going to give you guys a little trick that I use. If you go back to number 1, and if you look at this symbol, okay, that symbol, there it is. Think of it as a line with an arrow. But which way is it pointing? It's pointing to the left, which means everything has to be shaded to the left. 
And this only works if your variable's on the left side. Okay, that's the only way you can use this if your variable's on the left side. Come over here, my variable's on the left side. Look at the symbol. All right, it's a greater than or equal to. Think of it as a line with an arrow. Well, it's pointing to the right, so everything has to be shaded to the right. That's what I do. All right, number three. Um, I see right away my variable's on the other side. I don't want it there. I want to flip it around. So I'm going to go negative 20x, and when I flip it around, it turns to a greater than or equal to 140. Okay, I'm going to divide everything right now by negative 20. And when I do that, that cancels, so it leaves you with x. 140 divided by negative 20 is going to be a negative 7. Okay, but something happens here. If you divide both sides by a negative with inequalities, or if you multiply both sides by a negative number, that causes the symbol to flip. So because of that, this is going to flip around. All right, so it's going to go like this. And again, that's whenever you divide both sides by a negative, or if you multiply both sides by a negative, you have to flip the inequality symbol. So now it's x is less than or equal to negative 7. All right, so I'm going to go put my point on negative 7. I'm going to check it out. I'm like, oh, that's because of this right here. That means it's a closed point. Okay, think of it as like your, your arrow, your line with your arrow. It's pointing to the left. So I'm going to put a big, thick, heavy shade on that line. Notice I'm putting it directly on the line. I'm not trying to go up, like above it or below it. And I put an arrow to show that it is going to continue on forever. Okay, number four. So I'm going to rewrite it, give myself some room to work. I already have R on the left side, so I'm not going to flip anything. Um, I do want to get this alone. So to do that, I got to get rid of this 19. And that 19 is attached to the R right now by division. So the opposite would be multiplication. So I'll put times 19 out front. But I also got to do the same thing over here. Keep things fair. If you divide by 19, multiply by 19, that's going to cancel themselves out. That leaves you with positive R. Over here, you got negative 3 times 19. That's going to be a negative 57. Now, this sign is just going to come down. It's not going to flip. It's not going to flip because I did not multiply both sides by a negative number. Okay, I multiply both sides by a positive number. It didn't matter that this was negative. It only mattered that I multiply both sides here by a positive number. So now I'm going to go put my point on negative 57. Check it out. Um, I see it's going to be a closed point, And it's going to be shaded to the left. Put your big thick shade on it, arrow on the ends. All right, number five. Now we're going to move on to what's you know a two-step inequality. Um, so I'm going to rewrite it now because I don't want my m over there. So I'm going to rewrite m over 2. And I got a plus 1. And then we got negative 1 on the other side. And that symbol flips because I flipped the whole thing. Okay, if I'm going to solve this problem here, the first thing I want to do is get rid of this plus 1. So I'm going to minus 1 to both sides. This cancels. So you get m over 2 is greater than uh, negative 2. And then I want to free that m up. So I'm going to multiply both sides by 2. So this cancels. You're left with m. Negative 2 times 2 is negative 4. And we got a greater than. m is greater than negative 4. Okay, this is the first time today that uh, we just have a greater than. And so we know that's greater than. And a greater than gives us just an open point. All right. So I'm going to go here, negative 4, put an open point on there, which means it's open because m cannot be negative 4. It can be any number bigger than negative 4, but it can't be negative 4. All right. Pretend that's a line pointing to the right. So everything is shaded to the right. That means anything in my shaded area can be a solution. I can take any number along here way out here, plug it into this inequality, and it's going to make it a true statement. Okay, number six. Um, again, I got my variable on the right side. Don't want it there. I'm going to flip everything around. 4v plus 7, and then I need to flip that symbol, and then I've got my 19. Okay, I'm going to subtract 7 to both sides. 
that cancels. So I'm left with 4v is greater than 12. Um, at that point, I'm going to divide everything by 4. And I get v is greater than 3. Okay, so just like last time, it's a greater than, which means it's an open point. Go up to 3, put my open point. It's greater than, which means everything has to be shaded to the right. So big, thick, heavy shade. Okay, and then make your arrow to show that it goes on forever. All right, number seven. Again, my variable's on the right side. Don't want it there. I'm going to flip it around. 7x plus 1. Need to flip that symbol. Negative 27. So now I'm going to subtract 1 to both sides. So this cancels. Um, I get 7x is greater than negative 28. Um, last step, I'm going to divide by 7. So that cancels. We get x. Negative 28 divided by 7 is a negative 4. Okay, I am not dividing by a negative. This number is a negative, but the number I'm dividing by is not. So the sign is not going to flip. It's going to stay the same. So I get x is greater than negative 4. Again, open point on negative 4, and everything to the right should be shaded. And put a big, thick shade arrow on the end. All right, we got, uh, I think, one more to do together. No, we got a few more. After. Okay. So I'm going to rewrite it down below, give myself some room. Um, I want to get rid of this 2 first. So I'm going to do minus 2, which brings down the x over 2, greater than uh, 4 take away 2, gives us 2. And then last step, I'm going to multiply everything by 2 to clear that 2 on the bottom out. So that's going to cancel out. You get x greater than 2 times 2 is 4. Okay, open point on 4. It's a greater than again. Shade it all to the right. An arrow on the end. All right, let's look at number 9. So I'll come down here, rewrite it, give myself some room. All right. Um, I want to get rid of this negative 6 first. So I'm going to go ahead and do plus 6. That cancels. So I got negative 6b is less than 30 plus 6 is 36. Okay, now I'm going to divide everything by negative 6. So that cancels out, leaves you positive b. Positive divided by negative is going to give you a, a negative 6 there. And I'm dividing both sides by a negative. So at this point, this sign has got to turn around. It flips around. So B is greater than negative 6. So open point on negative 6, and it's a greater than, so everything to the right should be shaded. So big, thick line, and put your arrow on the end so that it does continue on. All right, one more together. So we're going to do number 10. Uh, number 10, rewrite it down below. A over 7 plus 5 is greater than 7. I'm going to subtract 5 to both sides to start. That cancels. I get A over 7 is greater than 2. I'm going to multiply both sides by 7. That cancels out. I get A is greater than 14. Um, open point again. And it is also shaded to the right. So we have a lot of greater thans here. Okay, I feel like you guys are probably ready now. So you could do number 11, number 12, number 13, 14, 15. I'm going to give you guys a hint. So 15, we didn't really talk about ones like this yet. Um, so you know what? Let's just do this one together. 15. Um, I'm going to come down here and rewrite it. X plus 6 over 15. Uh, what's different about this one is that this whole piece is over 15. And if you see like something like this, you need to multiply by 15 first to clear that out. So I come over here and multiply by 15. This cancels. So we get 15 is less than, right now, X plus 6. 
Okay. And you know, honestly, what I should have done before, I should have moved it all around, like just flipped it because my variable is on the right side, which I can do that now. Or I can do it later, you know, with my final answer. But I'm going to turn it around now. Um, now I'm going to subtract 6 to both sides. And I get X is greater than 9. Okay, so if I look here, this is, uh, here's an X is greater than 9. Double check that it is graphed the correct way. It's an open point. It is shaded to the right. So 15 is going to be letter D. All right, number 16. Do 17, 18, 19, 20. And um, that's it.